I can remember. You know, I wouldn't. It's not an easy thing to mm -hmm. to kind of remember straight off. Yeah. Yep. Now, what's the subject matter? Um, what I'm what I'm kind of so what I'm actually getting at here mm. is the some of the verses that have been revealed mm. in the Quran regarding Christians, people of the Scripture, mm -hmm. uh, seem seem to contradict. They seem to contradict. Now, I, I, I'm aware that some verses that seem to come later were actually revealed before. You have to look at it in, um, in a certain way okay. as to how those verses are revealed. Um, so, if we can go through, I don't know if anyone's got a Quran, um, so if we can go through these verses, then we can kind of see if there is any current uh, You know the Quran claims it's contradiction free, yes? I know, it's not on that basis. Are you trying to demonstrate that some kind of contradiction Well, I, I think there, there may be. I think there may be um, some kind of contradiction Okay. So if we start with um, 262, yeah. Okay, so if we start with 262, uh, Okay, so let's start in 262. Now, if we start in 262, yeah. we can see that um, things are very favourable for the Christians. Okay, what did I say? For the first one, 262, yeah? Mm -hmm. So, okay, so if we go... It, right, would I be right in saying that that is 262? Is that right? That's 262, yeah? No, this is chapter 2, verse or ayah 262. Yeah, okay. 262. 262. Okay, so I've got to go back. I've got to go back. Okay. Just so we have both views of both sides. Right, okay. So, in, we see in the first um, surah, <coughs> okay, it says, indeed those who believe and those who were Jews or Christians or Sabians before Prophet Muhammad, those among them who believed in Allah and the last day and did righteousness will have their reward with their Lord and no fear will there be concerning them nor will they grieve. Okay, so from that we see that the Christians that came before Muhammad have no fear of going to hell. They probably will go to heaven. No. Is, is that correct? No, okay, so in, in, what's incorrect. your interpretation? Incorrect. What's your interpretation? It's not my interpretation. Right. This is what the Arabic language of the Quran tells us what it is. So the Arabic goes this like this. In the English translation, it says will, they will have their reward sure, 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 with their sure. Lord. We okay. will, I'll, I'll break it down. So I will just mention the Arabic and okay. go back to the English. Okay. It's important okay. to mention yeah, yeah. the Arabic because the key is in understanding is okay. the Arabic. Okay, those who believed, who have believed, and those who are the Jews, Hadu, and the Nasara, the Christians, and the Sabi'een. Okay? Man amana billah. Whosoever from them believed in who or what? Billah. Man amana. Whoever believed in Allah, number one point. Wal yawmil akhir. And the last day, second point. Third point, wa amila salihan. And they perform good deeds, righteous actions. For them is the reward with their Lord. They have no fear and they don't have to have any grief. So we now have a statement from Allah saying, those who believe the Muslims and those who have turned away the Jewish people, the Sahadu is a term for Jewish people, and the Sabians and the Nasara, the Christians, Christians yeah. doesn't matter whoever you are. Yeah, yeah. If from among you, if you believe in Allah, and who is Allah? The Quran describes who Allah is. Yeah. And no, if you believe in the last day, the Quran describes what the last day is. And if you do righteous deeds, the Quran describes what are the righteous actions. So, suppose you're a Christian. If you believe in Allah, who is Allah? Allah is one who has no son. 
Allah is one who is not a trinity. Allah is one who doesn't beget a, ch a child and is, you know, someone who needs to be worshipped along with Allah. Allah is the one who is the creator of the heavens and the earth, who created the heavens in six days, but he did not need to rest and get tired and rest on the seventh. So Quran describes who Allah is. If you are a Jew or a Christian or a Sabian, apart from being a Muslim already, a believer, if you believed in Allah, then you will have no fear and no grief. If you believed in the last day, this last day is the Quran describes what will happen in the last day. This last day, the Quran describes how everything will be destroyed and will be, will be changed back to a new beginning. Yeah? And then people will be accountable for their belief and their actions and there will be a day of judgment where Allah alone, not a prophet like Jesus or a prophet Muhammad would be the judge, but Allah will be the one who will be doing the judgment. So if you believe in the last day as described in the Quran and you perform the righteous actions, the Quran describes what these righteous actions are. You pray the salah, the prayer, you do the fastings, you do the charity, you do you know nice interactions with the people, you don't do usury. All of these are described, right? Good works, good right. works. Good works. Right. So if even a Christian did that, no problem. But what happens if you were a Christian and you believed in Allah like this? And Allah tells us, I have sent Prophet Muhammad, believe in him. So if you believe in Allah and he tells you to believe in the Prophet, you have to believe in the Prophet, wouldn't you? If you believe, he says, whoever believes in Allah. This refers to people who, who were before Muhammad. No, let's, let's understand this. This verse, even if it was today or even before, if it says, whoever believes in Allah. If you believe in Allah who says, believe in my Prophet, then you have to believe in his Prophet, right? You have to. So, when Allah says, Muhammad Rasulullah, Muhammad is the Messenger of Allah, you have to believe in that statement or not? You have to. So, even though you were a Christian, with all this belief in Allah, and the last day and so on, what it's going to make you? is going to make you into a believer. That's why, even though you are a Christian, it doesn't stop you from becoming a Muslim with these three beliefs, then you'll have no fear. Because that is exactly what Allah is talking about. If you believe in Allah and His Messenger, and believe in the last day and do righteous deeds, then paradise is awaiting for you. Okay, so we can see here, we'll have their reward with their Lord. Yes. What's your interpretation of that? Reward, paradise. So the Christians will have paradise? Not Christians, as I told you. The, the Christians and the no, Jews no, 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 and the Sabians. No, no, no. You have to understand what I just said. Whoever from the Jews and the Christians and the Sabians, if they believed in, and this belief I've explained to you, then they will have no fear and they will have the reward. But if a Jew and a Christian and a Sabian believed in Allah in His oneness, believe in what Allah has taught and believed in the last day as Allah has described, it will not make them a Christian anymore, would it? Because they will come away from their Christian belief because Christians believe God is a whatever they believe, right? He has a son and so on. But whenever you believe in Allah, you have to believe that Allah has no son. Because Allah tells us he has no son. In fact, the heavens and the earth was about to split asunder, shatter, destroyed when they ascribe to the most merciful that he has a son. But Christians believe in God and the if a Christian believes uh, uh, yeah, hold God on, hold does on, not have a son. And then God is not a trinity. And God says believe in Prophet Muhammad and believes in Prophet Muhammad. Is he still a Christian? Well, if a Christian denies Romans 10.9, if a, if a Christian denies Romans 10.9, then as he doesn't, he's, he's basically not accepted uh, Jesus Christ. So he won't be accepted in heaven. That's in, what we in, in Christian heaven, we, but he will be accepted. In, but he will be accepted in the real heaven, paradise that the Quran talks about. Only if he's taken the shahada, he will be accepted into the Islamic paradise. Listen, listen. When this verse talks about this ayah talks about whoever believes in Allah, if you believe in Allah, of course belief is in your heart. Other side of the camera. Right? But of course they are going to also declare their belief. That yes, I believe. That is the shahada. Making this declaration. This doesn't the shahada. So, if a Christian or a Jew or a Sabian, whoever they are, if they believe 
and Allah and His oneness and His attributes and His teachings. Then, according to this Quranic ayah, He no longer remains a someone who is a worshiper of Christ, a worshiper of the fire, or someone who just says, you know, Attributes of God only, you know, he comes within the fold and star, and that's why here there is a adapter, but I just haven't got it. Okay, so normally I don't use my phone, I just want to get a new battery for this, then I'll be right. So I'm assuming that are Christians and Jews and Sabbath before Muhammad, is that correct? I can say cash. I said, no, no, seriously, I'm gonna promise you, I don't want to just have this get one more person. Whoever believes in and this belief is described in the Quran. So, it is not talking about every single Christian who doesn't believe in what is described in the Quran and, and what the Prophet Muhammad has brought. Now, um, these... Now, how does that contradict in any okay. chapter of the Quran? Okay, anywhere, anywhere? so this first verse is quite favourable to the Christians, Jews and Saviors. Okay, so let's go to... When you say favourable, isn't the Quran inviting every human being to Islam to submit to Allah? It's favorable to not just the Jews and the Christians and the Sapiens, it's favorable to everyone because the Quran addresses all mankind. Ya Yuhannas, Fuhabudullah, Fuhabudu Rabbakum. You know? Okay, yeah. so Christians believe in God. You could translate that as Allah. No, I, I cannot translate Allah because the Arabic says Allah. Okay, okay it doesn't let, say let me finish, let me finish. And the last day, and they did righteousness. So will have their reward with their Lord, okay? So I'm, I'm going to say that that's quite favourable to Christians. Okay, let's go to the next verse. What do you say? Which kind of Christians is it favourable to? It only Christians who believe God as a son? Well, Christians who believe God is a trinity? It just says Christians. Christians who believe? It just says Christians, yes. So, all this last 10, 15 minutes that I've explained to you, you didn't even get any of that? No, but I'm, I'm just telling you how I interpret it how I see it how I my awareness of Christ, Christians who were the first followers of Jesus at Antioch are the same Christians as to as as now I don't believe there's any difference I know Muslims say there's a difference but I don't believe there's you any missed difference. the key points though the Quran talks about whoever believes in who in Jesus no whoever believes in Mary no whoever believes in Paul no it doesn't no. it says whoever believes in Allah okay who is Allah according to no, the Quran it's, Allah can be translated as God. In here, Allah describes who Allah, who? and it says, He is Allah, He is Allah, ilaha illahu. He is Allah, besides Him, there is no other God. And the Quran says, He is Allah, who is, and it describes all His attributes. Who Allah, who ahad, lam yalid wa lam yulad. He has no children, He has no parents. No. So, okay, let me finish. please. <laughs> Quran describes to us who Allah is. When it says believe in Allah, it doesn't just leave it there. It describes what does it mean believing in Allah? It says, oh Allah, you don't know what Allah? Allah is this. He is the one who is independent and absolute. He has no children. He doesn't beget anyone. He is not begotten and he's not born himself. He doesn't even have any parents or but can Allah Source. be translated as God? This is not about translation. No, no, no. I'm asking you a straight question. Can Allah be translated as God? The reason you want to translate Allah to God, then you're going to make God, and I believe in God, like the Hindus believe in God. It's kind you of cannot, like a yes or no question, really. The answer is you cannot do that, my friend, in here, in this context. Because the Quran is not talking about just deity. Ila, a deity. The Quran is talking about a specific deity who is the deity of everyone on everything, who is Allah, the Lord God of everyone and everything. Quran describes who Allah is. You have to take that Allah as the Quran describes, not a deity called God. Okay, so we we agree to disagree. No, no, it's not about agreeing to disagree. You have to admit that the Quran is not talking about illa, which is a word for a deity or a deity. The Quran talks about man amana billah, billah to, with, in, in Allah. And the question is, who is Allah? According to the Quran, do you know who Allah is? Uh, uh, well, according to the Quran. Yeah, yeah who is Allah yeah. according to the Quran? Um, is he Jesus? No. Okay, does he have a son? No, not according right. to Is he Trinity? Is he a Trinity? No, no. Right. So, if a Christian dismisses believing Trinity, dismisses believing in the Sonship of God, 
and takes in all the attributes of God, then yes, that Christian will have no fear. They will have their rules. But are you adding to the verse? Are you adding to the verse? What am I adding to the verse? Well, you're, you're right, adding what more conditions to the verse. You're what am I adding? More, because that's quite, if I read that in English, that's quite clear. Look, but you're you're keeping, oh, no, no, going in English and English. I'm telling you, the Quran in Arabic tells you, whoever believes in Allah, and Allah, who he is, is described in all of the Quran. All of the Quran is about, mainly one third of the Quran at least, is about who Allah is and what he isn't. So when Allah describes himself and he says, if you believe in me, you have no fear, then you need to know who Allah is. So now I'm not adding anything. I'm just saying, Allah says, if you believe in me, and he says, I am this, I am that. So if a Christian believes in Allah as described by Allah himself, there is reward for them and there's reward for paradise. Okay, so. 262 is open to interpretation. No, it's not open to interpretation. Okay, let, let's move on to the next. Um, now you can move on, but as yeah. you understand that, it doesn't support well, your, your that's, belief that's, in any way or shape. That's the word Allah is. Okay. That's the word you say. Let's, let's move on. To, so the, ne the next um, verse we've got mm -hmm. is, is 551. Go to 551. You should have worn long sleeves, sir. Now, <laughs> what I'm actually trying to find out is, and yeah. is Allah um, you know you're in England, yeah. sending out contradictory messages? Uh, so I'm sorry, sorry. Uh, it's not very obvious when you read the Quran. What's going on? What do we say? Oh, yeah, we've just found oh, yeah. being calm. Now, we've yeah. just, bad, it? just seen 262. So, this is yeah, 551. No, we've got too far, man. You know? Stop oh, you who have yeah, believed. Yeah. Do not take the Jews so and the Christians huh? as so allies. Yeah. They are in fact allies of one another. And whoever is an ally to them among you, then indeed he is one of them. Indeed, Allah guides not the wrongdoing people. So we're already starting to see a change in the way that Allah is describing the the Christians. And there, is the no change. there is clearly no change here. There's a lot of talking about what? It's called the. It's called summertime. Uh, you see, the word is used. The um, allies. Christians. If we remain a Christian, we are not going to take our protecting friend as an ally, right? We can take you as our friend. <laughs> in our workplace, in our studies, in our interactions. But as a protecting friend, no, because you protect yourself. Because you but does it say protecting in the, in the other translation? I'm not interested in translation, my friend. I'm no, 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 because I've never ever... No, no, no. The reason I say that, because I've never ever seen the word protecting. I am telling you what the Arabic says. يَا أَيُّهَا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا لَا تَتَّخِذُوا الْيَهُودَ وَالنَّصَارَىٰ أَوْلِيَاءَ أَوْلِيَاءَ بَعْضُهُمْ أَوْلِيَاءُ بَعْضٍ They are protecting friends to themselves. Yep. We are not going to take Trump's America as our protecting friend. Right? We're not going to do that because they have their interest and we have our interest. I'll just give you a contemporary example. So Muslims will have this protecting friend, awliya, which is an ally between themselves. They're not going to take an ally or someone who themselves are always in what? Completely in conflict all the time. Conflict, conflict. Conflict in theology, conflict in interest and belief. Right? So Muslims are told in various places in the Quran, you can take them as your friends and so on, but not about allies. You can you have to deal with them justly, but never as an ally. Did the Christians ever protect Muhammad when he was fleeing? Did the, he, he had to seek some help and protection from the Christians at one time when he was fleeing from his enemies. From the Is that correct? No, not from the Christians. We have the Ethiopian king called Najashi who gave refuge to a lot of Muslims there, right, when they went. What this ayah is talking about, in general, Muslims should take Muslims as their ally and not take Jews and the Christians as allies for the Muslims.